company just acquired another company. Good news, right? And you even retained your job. Or maybe not. According to Harvard Business Review report, 70 to 90% of mergers and acquisitions fail and fail miserably. Hello everyone, I'm Craig Ross, CEO of Veris Global. By failing miserably, what I mean is that not only do the numbers not work out for the companies involved, but people's lives are affected, careers are affected, and it doesn't need to be so. I was working with an organization that had found itself in that situation. In the very first meeting, the leader said, Craig, I found ourselves sitting in a team in a room. We had 20 people in the room and we had 10 people from that company on this side of the table. And we had 10 people from our company on this side of the table. All arms were crossed and everybody's staring across the table. Of course, these were former competitors. The spreadsheet made it sound so simple, didn't it? That if we worked together, we could grow and expand within our industry. What wasn't counted on was the fact that these are people doing the work. How do you turn competitors into connected partners in business where people are all in and have each other's backs? How do you do that? One of the keys that we've discovered is that organizations that are doing this successfully don't operate from a mindset of which culture is going to win. This culture wins means which culture loses. Would you like to be on the losing side? Would you like to have invested your life and your career into a company and the values and the way things are done only to discover that those things are going to be dismissed for a different way of doing things simply because that company had more money to buy you? What happens, what happens if we approach this differently? This is exactly what we coach this leader to do. It's what you can do. Sitting back, we can ask different questions. We can ask this side of the table, what is it about your culture that you most appreciate and value and why? Then we can ask the other side of the table, what is it about your culture that over the years you've most appreciated and why? Then the next question for all of us, what is the elements of both cultures that seem to be, what do we have in common? And, and what does that look like as we move forward? Organizations that succeed in the M&A process succeed because they don't identify a culture that eats and devours another. They actually create something better. And that requires human beings like you that know and respect and, and, and care actually have this, I'm going to call it the human imperative that understand that what we're bringing together aren't just numbers. We're bringing people together. This is how we do big things.